Within the tapestry of wartime heroism, there are stories that stand out as truly extraordinary tales of courage and sacrifice. On this episode of The Social Plug, we examine one of those stories and look at the life of Corporal Sefanaya Sukhanaivalu, a Fijian war hero. Sefanaya Sukhanaivalu was born on the 1st of January 1918 in the village of Yadata on the island of the same name. Affectionately known as Sukha, he was named after the chief of Yadata who had returned from the battlefields of France in World War I at the time of Sukha's birth. Ironically, in Fijian, Sukhanaivalu means returned from war. For Sukha, village life was relatively simple and stress-free. And apart from the distant rumblings of World War I half a world away, mostly uneventful. After completing vocational college training in carpentry in 1938, Suka worked as a carpenter in two gold mines. Interestingly, he was reputedly not a great joiner and known to be happy in his own company. The outbreak of World War II would change all of that and in 1942, he and his brother enlisted in the 3rd Battalion Fiji Infantry Regiment, exchanging hammer and chisel for a rifle and a rucksack. Despite his inclination for solitude, Suka made an adept soldier and his skills in fishing, boxing and rugby served him well in the military. The climax of Corporal Sukanaivalu's narrative unfolded during the Bougainville campaign in the Solomon Islands. Named after the island of Bougainville, the campaign featured a series of land and naval battles between Allied forces and the Empire of Japan and was part of Operation Cartwheel, the Allied grand strategy in the South Pacific. On the 23rd of June 1944 at Mawaraka, Corporal Sukhanaivalu crawled forward to rescue some men who had been wounded when their platoon was ambushed and some of the leading elements had become casualties. After two of the wounded men had been successfully recovered, Sukhanaivalu, the NCO who was in command of the rear section, volunteered to go on further alone to try and rescue another one in spite of machine gun and mortar fire. But on the way back, he himself was seriously wounded in the groin and thighs and fell to the ground, unable to move any further. An excerpt from his citation sheds light on his final act of sacrifice. Several attempts were then made to rescue Corporal Sukhanaivalu, but without success, owing to heavy fire being encountered on each occasion and further casualties caused. This gallant NCO then called to his men not to try and get to him, as he was in a very exposed position. But they replied that they would never leave him to fall alive into the hands of the enemy. Realizing that his men would not withdraw as long as they could see that he was still alive, and knowing that they were themselves all in danger of being killed or captured as long as they remained where they were, Corporal Sukhanaivalu, well aware of the consequences, raised himself up in front of the Japanese machine gun and was riddled with bullets. Sefanaya Sukhanaivalu's selfless actions did not go unnoticed. On the 2nd of November 1944, he was posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross by King George VI. To date, he remains the only Fijian to receive the Victoria Cross, the highest military decoration for valor in the Commonwealth. Sukhanaivalu's legacy extends beyond his heroic deeds. His example has set the standard for all who have followed in his footsteps, and streets in the cities of Lautoka and Suva bear his name honoring his sacrifice. In 1969, Fiji commemorated the 25th anniversary of his actions with a postage stamp, and in 1995, another stamp marked the 50th anniversary of the end of Corporal Sefaniya Sukhanaivalu. A carpenter turned soldier serves as a reminder that from the quiet corners of the globe emerge stories of bravery, sacrifice and an unwavering spirit and shows us that the greatest heroes can emerge from even the humblest of beginnings.
Social Plug Fiji. Click on the subscribe button to stay up to date on all our latest videos.